Yesterday we showed you where you can go to learn how to become a movie makeup artist. Now Daily's Jill Simonian is back after talking with some of the best makeup artists in the business. That's right, Mike. You know, a makeup artist can transform an actor into a believable character. Just ask Best Actress Oscar winner Marion Cotillard. This is a story you'll see only on Daily's. For La Vie en Rose, wigs, teeth, and makeup transformed a young girl into an old woman. For the Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy, over 650 wigs and an assortment of makeup and facial hair were used. For Norbit, Eddie Murphy morphs into many characters, including an Asian man. Hello, I'm Penelope. <laughs> now comes Penelope. Here, the focus is on Christina Ricci's nose, specifically a pig nose that her character Penelope is born with. But sitting for hours in a makeup chair every day can be a chore for the actor. I'm working on a film in England, and I had a mold maker who was taking casts of people's faces who had never had a cast taken of his face. I said, you have to do it. You have to see what you're putting that person through. It took about an hour and a half, and a lot of times if I came in early, I'd just fall asleep while I put it on. Having an actor asleep is the best solution, since some actors can get antsy. Rob gives you the time, but he can be impatient sometimes. Joe is referring to actor Rob Schneider in the upcoming You Don't Mess with the Zohan, just one of the many movies he's worked on. Would you just get us to the hair salon? What is big deal about this hair place? Here at the Cinema Makeup School, he shows students the many steps to applying a prosthetic nose. This one is made of silicone. Using witch hazel to dissolve the edges, the process can take many hours of blending and powdering, then adding makeup color. Joe has some tips for people at home. This is a regular sponge that you buy at the makeup stores, and I just pluck it, or you take tweezers and pluck it and get a real irregular pattern. Getting insider tips from the pros also benefits the students. When you do that for Santa Claus 3 for the ears, because lights were reading through these foam ears, and that looked grayish, so we had to start painting red into the ear first. Two hours later, the nose is done, and it's on to a scratch, which appears in one quick stroke. Just look at that area without anything around it. It's going to look like a scratch. Turning it into a road rash takes just a few additional strokes. That's pretty good. <laughs> so real. Now, if you'd like to practice making your own bruises, Joe suggests making your own blood, since buying movie blood can get expensive.